đời tôi đang sống bao lâu. Okay, let's get started. So this uh, really we only have about seven letters uh, to worry about in terms of uh, special diacritics or special accents, if you will, and they're all really straightforward. Um, now, of course, I'm using the UniKey naturally, which is the overall program, and within that, I'm using uh, the Telex system, which is the most intuitive, most common. Got it on your phone, uh, the easiest one to work with. So uh, to get started. Uh, Yep, the hard D or the D with a slash through it, so to speak. Really simple. Using Unikey, you just double uh, the letter D. So uh, I have Unikey turned on. Again, Telex turned on, and uh, I'm going to hit the first D, and you see how it's underlined right there as it is. Once I type the second D, it assumes I meant put a slash through it. So literally, I typed D D I. Now, if I were to type it or turn off Unikey. It would look like this. So um, yeah, once Unikey is on, it's going to assume that's uh, the letter that you were hoping for. Now, likewise, A with the, the A with the hat, if you will, same idea. It's done with just two A's in a row. So I have Unikey turned on, and uh, I'm going to literally type C A. Notice how it gets underlined right there. As soon as I type the second A, bang, piece of cake. You guessed it with an O, exactly the same. We're gonna just type T O O, whoops, I. There we go. Um, e, you guessed it, same concept. We just double the letter. So I'm gonna type T E E N right now. Ta da! Pretty straightforward. Now, this isn't a Karen uh, in this case, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, but essentially, we just use A W in this case. So very straightforward. I'm going to literally type T R A W N G right now. Ta-da! Very simple. Now that W is used in a few cases when it comes to the uh, U here in this case with the hook on it. Same concept. Uh, I I have two ways of doing it. I could type U W, or I could simply type W. So I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to type T U W. Ta-da! Now, when it comes to the O, um, just to clarify here, um, same concept. O W. No big surprises here, folks. I'm going to type M O W, and it will create it with the hook on there, just like it looks. So, for the tones in Vietnamese, uh, really. There is six tones, but one of them has no tone marker, so we can really not worry about it. Essentially, you only have five tones uh, that you need to be able to type, uh, again, using Telex and Unikey here. Uh, the first one, high, um, quite easy. Essentially, you can just add an R anywhere into the word. Now, Vietnamese words don't typically, well, definitely don't have an R um, anywhere after, in the middle or at the end. So as a result, uh, it's easy for Unikey to always assume you meant to uh, put in the tone marker. Now again, you are able to put it immediately after the vowel or at the end of the word itself. So right now, I have a uh, Unikey turned on. So I'm literally going to type H O A R. Ta-da! Nice and easy. So yeah, in all cases, we're going to be able to put them at the middle or at the end of the word itself. Now Huyen. Same idea, F is the, the key for Huyen. So I will type this exactly as it reads with Unikey turned on, of course. D -O -N -G. Done. Really simple. Now, just for the fun of it, I'll type it this way, meaning I'll put the F immediately after the O. Same thing, same result. So, yep, and then we have our shock tone. Um, Yep, and uh, that's done with the S right here. And uh, same thing, put it anywhere we'd like. So I'll type it just as it reads right here. Um, nice and easy. And similarly, this is just another fun random example. There we go. Now, last one, uh, the nga tone. Um, we do that with an X, so I'll type it exactly as it reads right here, nice and easy. And we have one more actually, Na. Um, and this is done with the letter J. 
So we can put that anywhere we'd like. I'll just type it exactly as it reads right here. And you noticed how it underlined as we were going. It's assuming that, uh, you know, there's another tone to go. So it literally will, Unikey will replace the whole last word as it's written. Pretty simple. Please don't come so good.